Pune, one of the fastest growing cities in the world, is a leading hub of the automobile sector in India. Known as the Oxford of the East, it offers quality education to students from all over the country. It is the cultural capital of Maharashtra and since the year 2000, it has emerged as an international IT conglomerate. The Rajiv Gandhi IT Park houses renowned IT companies, thereby attracting youth from all over the country, leading to rapid urbanization. While the urbanization brought newer opportunities of employment, business and trade, this caused increased air pollution and traffic congestion, deteriorating the quality of life of hundreds of professionals working hard to put India as a global leader in information technology. As a permanent solution to this problem, the Pune Metropolitan Region Development Authority, or PMRDA, with the approval of the state government, has undertaken the development of Pune Metro Line 3, connecting Hinjewadi to the city centre at Shivaji Nagar. Under the guidance of the Honourable Prime Minister, the state is moving rapidly on the path of sustainable and inclusive development. Honourable Chief Minister of the State, Honourable Deputy Chief Minister and Honourable Guardian Minister of Pune District, the project has taken a giant leap forward in the shortest time possible. Pune Metropolitan Region Development Authority, PMRDA, has been set up for the overall development of Pune region. To find a permanent solution to the increasing traffic congestion, PMRDA has begun the Pune Metro Line 3, a project under mass rapid transit between Manhinjewari to Shivajinagar. It is the first project after new Metro Rail policy of 2017 that has begun in November 2021 on PPP model. It will be completed in record time of 40 months. It is based on innovative financing and least risk sharing basis. My predecessors have played a key role in this project and a young organization like PMRDA is all set to complete the target and dedicate this project to the service of people and country. The government of Maharashtra has declared this metro project as a vital important urban transport project. The project is undertaken on the public-private partnership mode through the Design, Build, Finance, Operate and Transfer or the DBFOT model. The project has been awarded to the joint venture of Trill Urban Transport Private Limited and Siemens Project Ventures, GmbH. Metro Line 3 from Shivajinagar to Hinjewadi. Its concession agreement was signed on September 2019 when I was PMRD Commissioner. It's a matter of pride for me. I wish this line the best of luck and I hope it completes within the duration it's given for. My best wishes to PMRD team for this. The 23.203 km metro line is elevated and has 23 stations. In the initial days, it is estimated that 3.33 lakh commuters shall use the metro every day. The total project cost is Rs 8,313 crores. Based on the latest third rail 750 volt DC PMRDA's Pune Metro will be high tech, fast, reliable transport service and shall stand as a beacon of new India. The most critical aspect of every metro project is making the land available and the same was undertaken on a war footing by PMRDA. It made lands for casting yard and car depot available to the concessionaire six months prior to the actual start of on-ground project implementation. For this huge project, land acquisition was a major hurdle. Basic land acquisition for car shed or car depot for, was a major issue. But around 13 hectare land was acquired within record-breaking time of seven months. I'm very glad to tell you that before the commencement date of this project, 97% of land was acquired. Major hurdles were solved and that is why the project is actually implemented in a very systematic manner. The metro, starting from Megapolis Circle at Manhinjewadi, will move along Shivaji Chowk, Wakar, Malunge Balewadi, Ramnagar and Balewadi High Street. From there, it will run parallel to Bane Road, Yashoda, Savitribai Phule Pune University, RBI, Agricultural College, Shimla Office Chowk to District and Sessions Court Pune. PMRD is fortunate to have got itself involved in uh, project development since the beginning and now the project is under the implementation stage. When we did the project development studies, 
we engaged the best agencies across the world which uh, included the Deloitte and the Ernst and Young when it came to implementation we did the procurement based on the open competitive bidding and the concessioner was appointed smart financing options were explored we got the help from the state and the central government in ratifying our uh, procurement process and now the project is under the implementation stage the actual on ground implementation work began on 25th november 2021 a total of about 4218 piles 925 metro pairs 8323 segments and 793 spans will be erected construction of two receiving substations for the project is underway at hinjewadi and bane the project is expected to be completed in 40 months and will be made available to the citizens by march 2025 pune's traffic condition is very serious Savitri Bai Phule, Pune University Square and Ganeshkin Road is having various enormous traffic. So to resolve this traffic issue, demolition of the existing flyover which was scattering the traffic one way was demolished and with the approval from government of Maharashtra in consent with Pune Municipal Corporation, the integrated double-decker flyover is being implemented by the PMRD. While implementing the project to resolve the traffic issue, one way rotatory is implemented which is coming from Pashan, Abhimanshri, Baner to University Square. The integrated double-decker flyover to be constructed in the Savitri Bai Phule Pune University Chalk will add to the splendor of the city. This flyover will resolve the traffic congestion at University Circle and ensure proper traffic management for the next 50 years. The project has been planned to minimize environmental damage. In place of each affected tree, five compensatory trees are being planted. A total of 6,271 trees will be newly planted and 1,158 trees will be transplanted. As the said route passes through the boundaries of four different government bodies, in coordination with all the bodies, the work of shifting the utilities hindering the metro has been undertaken on priority. Soon, a dreamlike journey will begin. The new identity of Pune, free from air and noise pollution and traffic congestion. A new and world-renowned model of sustainable and visionary development. Pune Re Metro.